Hi everybody, this is Laura with Crazy Cool Cakes. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a beautiful bow for your cakes. This is made out of gum paste and this is a typical size of the majority of the bows that I make. They're about four and a half inches wide and four inches tall. You can of course uh, play around with the sizes when you make your own. But this one here was just made and it's actually drying right now. So this is what we will be making. Okay guys, we're going to start with about 4 or 5 ounces of gum paste to make the size bow that I showed you just a little bit ago. And all I'm doing is just kneading this to make it nice and pliable. And then I'm going to roll it out pretty long. I'm going to cut this 11 inches by 4 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and roll this out to where it's a little bit bigger than what I'm actually going to need. Okay. So you do want to try and get some of the wrinkles out, not, you know, you don't have to get every single crack and wrinkle out because rolling it out with your rolling pin actually does eliminate almost all the, the cracks and wrinkles. Okay guys, so I've rolled this out. I rolled this out to a size where I know it's gonna be more than enough for my 11 by four cut that I need to make. And this is rolled out pretty thin. I would say about an eighth of an inch, maybe just a little bit more, okay? So it doesn't need to be too thick. And then all I'm gonna do is place my ruler and I'm gonna make a straight cut using my blade, holding the ruler in place so it doesn't move. Okay, there's my first cut. Then I want this to be four inches in height. Again, you can mess around with the size depending on, you know, how big of a bow you want to make. If you want to make it bigger, then of course you just increase the size yourself. I made a mark at the four inch height. I set my ruler and I'm just eyeballing this okay, to where it looks pretty straight. Hold my ruler in place and with the blade just cut all the way across. Okay, now I need it to be exactly 11 inches long. I make a mark at the 11 and a mark at the zero. And then I just simply place my ruler to where it looks like a 90 degree angle. Okay, if it's not perfect, don't worry about it. The sides are going to be the inside of the bow, so you're really not going to see those. Okay, there's my cut. Okay, so here is my 4x11 strip. To mark the center, all I do is pick it up on the end. Fold it over in half, make a little crease there so I can see the halfway point. And then I'm going to turn the entire strip of gum paste perpendicular to me. Okay, I grab it in the center, I lower right at the center point, crease, and then bend down the sides and pinch. Okay, then with my edible glue, just take a little bit of glue and put some there in the center and pinch. Okay. For the ends of the bow, we're going to do the same thing. You bend down and then you crease upward. Okay, pinch, take a little bit of glue. Okay, pinch it in place. I'm going to take the whole thing, flip it over so I can do the other side. Again, bend down, crease upward. Okay, and if you can see, that's what the fold looks like. Okay. Take a little bit of glue and pinch, okay? All right, now I'm gonna turn this thing sideways. And you have to work quickly because gum paste does start to dry out and you don't want it to start cracking on you, okay? And what I do is take the whole thing, flip it over, take a little bit more glue, and just glue as needed. A Little bit more glue here and here, pinch. A little bit of glue here and here and pinch. Okay, 
then I'm going to get rid of these two little pieces of gum paste that are sticking up so I actually just press them down same thing here okay now I have two sets of plastic you can just do this with any type of plastic it's just a grocery bag that I cut and I just clumped it together to give me about the thickness that I want my loop to be okay so before I add the plastic I just take the end of the bow here and just pinch it flat or as flat as I can get it same thing with the other side pinch it a little bit flat okay I'm going to place my plastic right in the center of the bow okay hold it in place get a little bit of glue and you guys don't want to use a lot of glue because the more glue you use the faster it's going to take to dry or it might not ever dry at all okay so hold the plastic in in place and then you just put your loop right in the center and you just stick it okay I got another little piece of plastic here another half of a bro of a grocery bag add a little bit more glue here maybe a little bit here on the end of this loop in case it touches there and a little bit of glue on the end of my loop here put my plastic in place Bend this over, okay, and then just pinch it all together. Where the two ends of the loop meet, or the ends of the bow meet, that's going to be the back of your bow. So you want to quickly flip it over, okay, and this is what the front of our bow looks like so far. Alright guys, so we have our bow made so far, and I'm going to show you how to make the pleated knot that goes in the center. There's many different ways and styles to do this, but this is the particular way that I like to do it, so hopefully you'll like it too. You need very little gum, gum paste for this, I would say about an ounce to an ounce and a half. And again, just kneading it to get it nice and pliable. And I'm going to roll this out to a long rectangle, similar to the one we used for the bow, but a lot smaller. So when I roll this out, again, it's going to be about an eighth of an inch thick. Not very thick at all and not very, very thin. It's a nice, nice thickness for these types of decorations. Okay, and I want to cut this and or trim it with my blade at about, I would say about three inches by five inches. And again, I'm just eyeballing it. You can use a ruler if you want to be exact. And we will, in the end, have to trim some more up on the sides once we put it on the bow. So I just want a pretty, pretty straight rectangle. Okay, so there's my rectangle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. And then I'm going to fold the edges over so that once I place it on the bow, you can't see... The, the edges that are cut so that way they look like folds gives it a, a more natural look so I'm just applying a little bit of glue on the edges here on the two uh, longer edges and all I'm going to do is just fold this over okay and just press it down just very little just to get rid of the of the edge that's cut Okay, just press it down. Same thing with the other side. Okay. Okay, so there's my two little edges folded over, then I'm gonna flip it over now. And I'm gonna make three creases. So I take the top end of the strip and I just fold it down and create one crease just like that take the top end again and create one last crease you want to try and space them out you know so they look like nice little folds the same way that we make swags for cakes okay so there is my my three creases 
then what I'm going to do is flip this whole thing over and I'm going to add glue to the entire back. Again, you don't need tons of glue, just enough to make it tacky. The more glue you add, remember the longer it's going to take to dry. So I just barely put enough just to make it sticky. Okay? Alright. Move this over. I have my bow here. Remember this is the top of the bow, the front. Where the edges of the bow meet in the back, that's the back. Okay, so I take my strip, flip it over, place it right in the middle. Okay, push it all the way in because you want to make it look like a nice tight little knot there. Okay, flip it over. Tighten that. Okay, I can see all the excess gum paste that I'm going to have, so I just take my scissors and just cut it off and pinch it all together nice and tight. And there is my bow. Alright guys, so hope you like this tutorial and I hope everybody has fun making their beautiful bows. And thank you in advance for all your wonderful comments. And I would love it if you guys could check out our Facebook page and like us. We always put up tons of tutorials there too. All right, guys, take care. God bless.